Hi guys, today is Saturday, August 29, and that means I've got one day till I need to be out of here. Let's start the day off by some light sewing. Like I mentioned yesterday, I've already cut all of the pieces of fabric for the mattress. In Sailrite's video, they use a hot knife to seal the edges of the fabric. I don't have one of those, so I'm going to put a stitch all the way along the edge of all of the pieces to keep them from unraveling. Zigzag. Maximum seam width. This is the piece of boxing where the sibyl will go, and uh, I've run a quick stitch down the length of it and splied it open. Of course, the sibyl going like this. Now, to make sure you get the correct width here, in Sailrite's video, they use some sort of magnetic doohickey to place on the sewing machine. I don't have one of those, so I just used a bit of masking tape and drew a line on it. The zipper's on there. Now comes the most difficult part, which is fitting the closing opening doohickey for the zipper. That is such a fiddly job. What helped me a lot was to run some thread through the zipper so that I could pull it. Dang it, I've messed up. You're supposed to put a piece of fabric right here, but all of this fabric is up at the boat, and um, I really want to get this done today, so I need to come up with some sort of alternate solution. I'm sure you guys recognize this. This is my favorite shirt, but unfortunately it's um, starting to show its age a little bit. And there's also a few holes in it. So uh, I'll use a piece of this. There we go. It's not pretty, but it'll do its job. And this is facing in towards the mattress. The boxing is done. So now we just need to add the top and the bottom. Ta-da! So now we just need to flip this inside out. Okay, let's see if we can shove all of that foam into this tiny thing. The new mattresses aren't perfect. I've made some mistakes and I'll show you those in a later video. But uh, at least the new mattresses are better than the old ones and it's my first time doing this, so it's okay I've made a few mistakes, and it's nothing major. Having the new mattress in the V-Birth is gonna make a huge difference, but I am gonna miss my lucky shirt. That's the cradle for my boat. I won't be needing it anytime soon, and uh, I've found a place to store it. BAM! Everything is secured with straps underneath that tarp. It's the owners of Jökul's girlfriend, Gaia, that has offered me to store the boat cradle on their property. And that's really nice because otherwise I'd have to drive up to my parents and drop it off. And that's a four hour round trip. I've dropped off the cradle for the boat and here we are at the hardware store to pick up some more of that paint. Dang it. They didn't have the paint I'm looking for. That's really unfortunate, but uh, let's head back to the house. When life gives you lemons, Sift your paint. I picked up this strainer on the way back from the hardware store. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I might as well give it a try because I'm not gonna be able to get my hands on any more of that paint for at least another two days. And if I mess up, I can always just sand and repaint. Well, here we go. Two bags of reclaimed paint. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna turn out the way I wanted it to, but um, at least I did all I could. For the last couple of hours, I've been uh, emptying out the last of the closets and drawers and everything, so I think I'm pretty much ready for the big move tomorrow, but we still have a few things we need to take care of today. This will protect my brand new mattress for the V-Birth, but as you can see, it's kind of square looking and we need it to be more of a triangular shape. It's certainly not pretty, but I think it'll do an excellent job of protecting the mattress. The next thing I'd like to do is something about sheets. Now these are just regular old-fashioned boring square sheets from Ikea. But uh, let's see if we can't modify uh, these to fit my mattress a little better. As you can see, there's a lot of excess fabric. Let's see if we can't remove some of that. Oh, and I should probably mention I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just winging it. I think I'll have a lot of fun this winter trying to come up with a sheet that's easy to put on in a cramped V-Birth. This is my first attempt. Secure the forward end of the sheet with the elastic band. 
Wrap the aft end of the sheet around the mattress. It's not perfect, but it's a good start. I'd love to hear how you guys get your sheets on the mattress in a cramped rebirth. I might be overlooking something completely obvious, but for me it's always been kind of a struggle. Tonight is going to be my last night here in the house, so that means tomorrow is the big moving day. Not that I have all that much stuff left to move, but still, that'll be when I leave the house, which will be with mixed emotions, I'm sure. I want to head in and get started on editing this video, so uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video, guys. See you! Jekyll and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.